Hello and thanks for dropping by my channel. Today, it's all about the goulash. Now, when I was a kid, my granny, my mother used to make goulash for me. And when I grew up and I started making goulash, I made it like they did. And it was good, but you know what? I found a recipe, like eating the goulash of yesteryear was like eating a TV dinner. But the recipe that I have for old-fashioned goulash, you're really going to like. Now, I don't like to add a lot of ingredients, but with this, you just can't help it. So, I think you're going to enjoy this. What I've got here is I've got all my ingredients over here that I'm going to use. So, let's get started. Now, I'm cooking one pound of ground beef. While that's cooking up, I'm going to put a rough chopped onion in here. And I'm only doing a half a recipe because I don't have that many mouths to feed today. So I have to, I have to uh, shrink it down a little bit. Okay. I'm going to saute the onions in here. Make sure you can see it here. I'm going to saute the onions in here. When it gets finished sauteing, I'm going to drain the uh, fat out of it. And then I'm going to start putting my other ingredients in here. I'm cooking this over a medium high heat. Okay. I've got my ground beef sauteing with my onions. I've already drained it off. Got the fat off of it. Now we're going to start adding the other ingredients to it. Got the garlic. Now I'm going to add some water. It's like a cup and a half of water. Italian seasoning, I'm going to put some adobo in it, got the adobo going in there, three bay leaves, that you use the seasoned salt. Regular salt is going to make it too salty. And this is what it's like, what it looks like, seasoned salt. If you mix the full recipe, you better make sure you have a lot of people around to eat it because it's going to make a lot. You'll be eating it for weeks. And the uh, link to the recipe is down here on the comment, uh, comment section. And you can go there and see exactly what it takes to make this fabulous old-fashioned goulash. I'm sorry, Granny, but your goulash just don't cut it anymore.
Okay, I have all my ingredients in there up to this point. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this. And I'm going to turn the heat down to medium let it simmer. Okay, now this thing's been, uh, been cooking for 20 minutes now. And during the, during the 20 minutes, you've got to come over here and stir this occasionally, okay, so it won't stick. Now, the next step we're going to do is we're going to take our uncooked macaroni and add it to the mix. Stir it around really good. And we're going to cover it and cook it for another 30 minutes. So, I'll see you in 30 minutes. Okay, welcome back. We're at the end of our 30 minute cook time. The next step is to take the bay leaves out and add the cheese. camera on here for you. Okay. This normally calls for cheddar cheese, but I like the Gouda. But like this, you will you will see that in your in your recipe file you'll see what I normally put in here. So you stir that in there. bay leaf to get out. Okay, then I'm going to add the mozzarella to it. Throw that in there. I'm going to go ahead and cut the heat. And here you go. This is old-fashioned goulash. And I'm going to have me a bowl. I kid you not, this is not your regular goulash. Called old fashioned, old fashioned goulash, and like I said, you will find the link to it down below in the comment section. You need to try this because it is so good. I guarantee. Mmm. Eat this with a piece of garlic bread. Oh my gosh. So good. Okay, that's all I got. I hope you try it. Thanks for watching.